Hello and welcome to the Star Citizen Weekly News, looking at a summary and highlights of the week's goings on, with 3.5 being branched out, roadmap and project updates, pathfinding and tractor beam info on Around the Verse and Reverse the Verse, all for the week ending the 24th of February 2019. Star Citizen Alpha 3.4.3 is the current live build for the game, with 3.5 coming at the end of March. Star Citizen has now raised over $218 million in crowdfunding and has over 2,250,000 Star Citizen accounts. In this week's RSI newsletter, it's titled Community Chest, they had a little statement, development has branched to Alpha 3.5.0, readying for the impending quarterly release. Stay tuned as we prep for Eva Carti test flight and beyond. So this means that the content for Alpha 3.5 has now been effectively chosen and locked in and broken away from the dev branch. This will have any dev that is working on associated features for 3.5 now working exclusively on this build. Ironing out bugs and getting it all working. There might be stuff that's not fully completed yet. Yes, for sure. However, they're now going to be working on that branch a lot more and a lot more focus just on that. Though the dev branch will still see some work if it's unrelated to 3.5 or if it's Squadron 42 based, stuff like that. Once 3.5 is finished and live, they will subsume it back into the dev branch. So its updates and iterations that have been made since it branched out can all be brought back into the fold. This will then eventually see 3.6 branching off for the same cycle for the end of June. Roadmap updates. So with the Persistent Universe, nothing has slipped from the roadmap and there's been a lot of work completed on Planet Art Corp, Area 18, vehicle tech updates and distortion damage improvements for the 3.5 build. 3.6 has seen work start on the harvestable entity spawning system. We should see an Evocati build for 3.5 as early as next week. This is likely to focus on the new flight model though, before adding more and more features. It will be extremely buggy as well. If you see any leaks or anything, it's gonna be a, a buggy nightmare um, because that's what the Evocati builds are to start with typically. For Squadron 42's roadmap, FPS Realistic Firing V2 has been moved from the first quarter to the second quarter. Other than that, a small amount of progress has been made on various tasks. Nothing really notable. There was a sneak peek at what I believe is the Size 1 Mark 1 Tarantula Ship Ballistic Cannon from Gallison Tactical Systems in the newsletter as well, which uh, I think looks pretty cool. Let's do a quick summary of Around the Verse. In ATV, they talked about what they've been doing for various 3.5 alpha improvements, starting with NPC pathfinding. The new system is much more robust and allows NPCs to avoid each other and players more sensibly and looks great animation-wise. There's some network code improvements, with them dealing with stalls and asset loading from object container streaming, as well as server and client crashes being ironed out and fixed. Lyria has had some work done with its VFX and cryo geysers. They're an awesome mix of steam, ice and snow. The moon Lyria is looking really, really pretty cool. Uh, thruster damage effects have been dialed in and are looking great now too. The more damage your thruster or engines have taken, the more it will visibly struggle, spew smoke and misfire. They've got all the effects dialed in for that now. Reverse the verse. So this was focusing on tractor beams and the SRV concept ship. SRV standing now for standard recovery vehicle. Tractor beams come in various sizes. The SRV has an extremely powerful one, much suited for lifting ships and objects with more mass, that sort of stuff. But smaller tractor beams will be available on various ships like the Cutlass Black um, and the 315P, that sort of stuff. And they will be able to grab things, move things around, but typically much smaller items. You'll be able to move cargo ships, some asteroids, items and vehicles with tractor beams, as well as aid ships getting out of atmosphere if they're overladen or damaged or even ones that are just limping home in space. Shields will largely mitigate the effects of a tractor beam as will ships attempting to move out of the beam 
basically a ship has to be willing or mobilized for tractor beams to be working on them well. Uh, you can use beams in atmosphere. The beam has a push, pull and manipulate mechanic. Enough SRVs should be able to move and rescue capital ships as well. A couple of other little bits of news. Gameglass.gg are having their last few days of their Indiegogo campaign. They plan to have a highly supported in-depth app that converts touchscreen devices into control devices for Star Citizen and some other games too. There's going to be both free and subscription versions. I like what they've shown so far. And at the very least, I will be interested in their free version. Check that out in the links below. The loaner matrix for ships for Star Citizen has been updated as well. I'll link that down below and get a video up for it shortly in my Star Citizen FAQ series. Every month we have a Star Citizen ship giveaway for February. It's for a Cutlass Black and Star Citizen game package. All you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment on any of my videos made during the month. If you don't have a gaming PC yet or you are upgrading, instead consider Shadow Cloud Gaming. They allow you to leverage the powers of the internet to stream a high-spec Windows 10 environment to any other PC, Mac or device like a smartphone or tablet. It is working really well in Star Citizen's 3.4 branch and be sure to use the code board GAMER if you do decide to check it out to get a discount. Links below. This channel exists because of its community. If you wish to support the channel further, below there are links to Patreon, Subscribestar, and there's the YouTube channel memberships, literally the join button below this video. VIPs do get some exclusive stuff and early content as a thank you as well. If you have any feedback, suggestions, or just want to say hi, please drop a comment below or poke me on discord.gg forward slash board gamer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the verse.